Hello everyone, this is Jay for the uh, Nuke Junkie channel. Hey, uh, I just want to uh, give you guys a unboxing of a modem I currently purchased, or I recently purchased. Um, just to give you a little background, I have been using a, um, a, a Doxus 3 modem from Comcast, one of their blue, uh, blue box modems. Um, been around for a while. Uh, modem worked fine, um, never really had any issues with it. But it was a rental. Um, that mode, just to give you some history, that modem um, I got about a hundred, and I was usually saw about a hundred and thirty at, at a good, a good, I'll say at a good consistent rate. I usually saw at best about a hundred and thirty, hundred and thirty-five uh, megabits per second down, about twelve megabits per second up, was what my connection was giving me uh, with the old modem. If I directly connected to uh, to the modem. Um, and uh, that was fine. Um, problem was that the router that I was hooked up to, which I have had now for many years, um, I guess it's a, uh, I don't know, I'm going to say at least five, six year, years I've had that, that router, if not longer, just wasn't pushing out the signal far enough to go where I really wanted to use the riot wireless. Um, and I was only getting, you know, maybe 10, 15 megabit per second download. Um, you know, at, at those locations, and I just wasn't really happy with it. So my first thought was to, uh, you know, get a wireless extender, that sort of thing, but uh, I want a different route. I got a new modem and a new router. I am going to cover the router um, in another video that will be coming up soon um, to show you that and the combination of the two, but I'm going to talk about this uh, modem in this video, and uh Tell you about its capabilities we'll open it up take a look at it and uh you know go from there so this is a motorola aris um surfboard it's a model 6183 uh, sb 6183 it's basically the highest end model of this this series that's available um big things about it to know is that it's basically been uh it's compatible, with, which I think means that the cable providers have uh, bought off on supporting it. Of all the major, let's say the major uh, cable providers in the country, um, certainly not all of them, but a uh, big one for me was Comcast Xfinity, which is who I have and uh, is supported by the, this modem is supported on their network. Um, some other things to uh, bear in mind with this is that it is a Doxus 3.0 modem, which is the current um, version um, that that most modems, uh, you know, you want to have for uh, compatibility. It has 16 download. Let's see if I can get you a little better shot of that. Sorry. 16 download channels and four upload channels, um, which is basically just uh, the higher that number is, basically the better speed you can get in the up and down um of your of your connection to the uh, cable company um so side the box not a whole lot of stuff to really point out other than it is it's a cable 3.0 modem which is uh you know basically the the most recent standard has uh 10 big 10 bit uh 10 i'm sorry one gig uh ethernet for all of its connections Works with all the major operating systems. Um, the other side of the box basically gives you a little more information. Some of it is useful, some of it is not. I can get you a better picture there. Like I said, it is Doxis 3. It's backward compatible with all the other Doxis that's out there. Um, and then it just gives you a bunch of, you know, nice stuff. Yeah, faster this, faster that. Well, you'd hope it would be faster if it's brand new, right? Uh, it tells you again what uh, operating systems it's available for, which are basically all the major ones. Um, also does, uh, there again, I'm sorry, yeah, the gigabit ethernet port. Uh, tells you it's 600 megahertz dual thread processor, which is nice. And, you know, gives you some information on its dimensions and such. Uh, bottom of the box, there's nothing terribly interesting there. Top of the box, I'm not going to show you because it shows uh, some router-specific information that I don't want out there on the internet, so <laughs> I'm not going to go there. Um, but anyways, this is the back of the box, kind of a little comparison table. Shows you uh, its 
three different surfboard models you can get that are in this this series of uh, modems and uh, the one that this is is the 6183 um, it is capable up to 686 megabits per second on a download um, like I said it's Doxus side uh, Doxus compatible Doxus 3 compatible and uh, you know of course it rates it as the best of their line so that's what that shows you there in the back um, Oh, just in case I haven't mentioned it, uh, my connection currently with Comcast is one of their, what they call their Blast tier. It's uh, rated at 150 megabits per second download and I believe 10 megabits per second upload. So, um, but the router that I had, or I'm sorry, the modem I had for the box, uh, basically, let me see if I can get you a nice shot of that. Basically, uh, I did buy this at Best Buy. These are available at Best Buy along with many others. Um, this is uh, one I decided to get based on reviews from uh, places I like to use for uh, electronic reviews on the internet. And it's pretty much uh, has very little downside that I've seen anybody note. And uh, it seemed like a pretty rock solid modem for uh, what I wanted. So that was good. Uh, this is basically the manual that comes with it. It's a four page little pamphlet. The back page is nice. It has uh, another label with all your configuration information on it, so you don't have to worry about writing everything off, off the modem onto a piece of paper or whatever. It's right there for you. I'm not going to show it to you. As I said, I don't want that information out there, but it is there, and it's a nice feature. Um, the modem, basically, is just a little white box. Nice-looking box. Um, this is what it looks like, um, as I said. The uh, three sides just have holes just for heat dissipation. The bottom does have your uh, router information on it. The back of the modem, uh, basically, just your uh, typical modem panel. You got your one your one gigabit uh, WAN port, basically, that go, will go to your router. Cable connection and then power. So very simple setup that way. Front of the panel has basically four lights. Uh, you got your power, your upload, download, and your little earth icon for meaning that you have your uh, internet online. So that's the basic uh, flick of the modem. The uh, box has a little divider, cardboard divider like you see nowadays. They give you an ethernet um, cord, one, uh, one gigabit cord, and then there's some other miscellaneous stuff in the box basically your FCC compliance documentation and such so that's the box and the router one thing to mention um, for anybody who's looking to get this and most routers are like this nowadays but I just want to bring it up in case uh, you haven't bought a router in a while um, this has four lights like I said four indicators on it the upload and download indicators have uh, both a green and a blue color that they can be and on this on this modem, from the uh, information and the documentation, basically, if they're uh, green, if your upload and download are green, that means that you have less than half of your bondable channels bonded with your basically with the cable company's uh, server, which means you're not going to get uh, good speed. And typically, that will happen. <coughs> excuse me, will happen. Uh, you know, if you're you have a lot of interference on your line. You have, uh, you know, signal issues within the line itself, you know, between you and the cable company. So, uh, if you hook one of these up, or if you have an existing modem hooked up, and it has the uh, capability to indicate channel bonding based on colors, um, you know, if you're green, look into that, see if it has blue, and uh, you might want to start, you know, call your cable company and see if they can see any kind of issues with your line, and uh, help, you know, if you're having an internet connection issues or speed issues that sort of thing just want to bring that up um this modem like i said it has 16 down so um if you have less than i think if you have it's i believe it's eight or less um bonded on the downside it'll be green and if you have two or less bonded on the upload side then it will be green obviously if you're greater than eight on down or greater than two on up it'll be blue so um, I do have blue on both of mine, and I will show you, uh, once I get this hooked up, uh, you know, it actually shows you the bonding and 
information around that and how the signal looks and that sort of thing. So you can look into that. Uh, also, you know, if you get one of these or most other internets have the same sort, I'm sorry, most other uh, modems have the same sort of capability to look into them and see their connection also with a uh, browser. So, um, so that's it. That is my um, unboxing of this. And uh, that's as far I'm going to go with this. I just wanted to uh, let everybody, show everybody where I'm starting here. 120, 135 megabits per second on 120 megabits per second connection. What the heck, right? Well, my first thought was, okay, I'm just going to get another router, get my... See if I can get my wireless connection up to speed, and then uh, I'll be good. And that's, you know, pretty much where I went. I, I started the router. But then uh, I decided to look around a little bit at modems. I saw this was out there. I was already paying $10 a month for the modem that I was renting, which, you know, I paid that modem off for Comcast a couple times already because I've had that for a while. This guy is $130 plus tax. Um at uh, Best Buy right now and um, I bought it figuring you know I'll basically pay it off within a year modems last at least in my experience last a really long time I don't think I've ever had a modem go bad um, on me so they seem they're you know they're pretty solid hardware this guy like I said is good up to 600 and get what it was 644 655 megabits or something like that and uh, where's that at 686 megabits so um you know it's way faster than my connection is right now and even the next tier of comcast is i think 544 megabits per second download so it will you know this thing is going to last me for a long time before i get into a speed tier where uh i need something faster um so uh yeah i don't even i'm not even aware of uh, uh comcast offering anything fast enough to to uh, push this thing to its limits right now. So, um, so unless Google Wire decides to come through here in the very near future, which they won't, <laughs> um, I won't have to worry about upgrading this for a very long time. So that's good. Um, so that's why I bought it. Um, why I bought this one uh, in particular was the reviews coupled with, uh, you know, being able to keep it for a long time. Um, and that's it. I'm online. And, uh, you know, let me, let me know what you think. Um, like I said, I'm going to have another video of the router, uh, how that came, what that looked like in the box. Then I'm going to hook everything up and I'm going to give you guys a, uh, basically a real time demonstration of the, uh, capabilities of the combination of this router with my, sorry, this modem with my router and, uh, see how we do speed wise. And uh, that will give you guys more informed information on whether you want to spend the money to upgrade like I did. So once again, $130 at Best Buy. Um, they do have a 14-day return policy, so if you did have an issue, it's easy to take it back, um, which is why I bought it there. Um, obviously, it's available online, Amazon, and all the typical places, but uh, I thought with the uh, brick and mortar being able to return it, I was... Uh, Happier than that, it did cost me a little bit more, like I said, because of local taxes, but uh, I thought it was worth it for return if necessary. So um, that's what I did, and uh, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, please uh, subscribe and leave messages uh, and comments. I'd appreciate it. Thanks.